This is Zablon Simentov. I am a only one Jewish Afghan Afghanistan cowboy. Very good. Very good. Before 1945, Afghanistan had thousands of Jews, mostly living in the western city of Herat. But they all left for Israel, Europe, and the US because of war, except for Zablon, who still remains. Yes, this man is the last Afghan Jew living in Afghanistan, a country of 36 million people. Just wait until you hear the rest of his story. As a Jew myself, I am proud of my religion. It's something that always stays with me when I travel, and even though I'm not religious, I like to connect with Jewish communities around the world. So yesterday, when I found out about Zablon, I booked a last minute flight to Kabul, and the search was on to find him. After asking around a few times, This is it? Oh, oh. oh. alright, I guess we found it. Sure enough, I tracked him down on the third floor of this old apartment complex. Salam alaikum. How are you? One thing you come come in, come in. <laughs> you from? I'm from the US. New York. New US, but I'm Jewish. You Jewish? Yes. Nice to meet you. So how do you practice your Judaism as the only Jew in, in Afghanistan? Yeah. He says, uh, I have a, a, a Jewish calendar. My cousin brought this from Israel mm. and I have a lot of other books. I, I do take care of the days and everything and the timings and I do the right prayer all the time just from mm. this calendar. Born in 1959, Zablon and his family come from Herat. He was a successful businessman for decades, making a fortune trading carpets, and traveled all over the world for business. Israel, America, Washington, France, uh, English, Moscow, and Europe. He came back to Kabul in the early 90s and woke up one morning to realize that all his carpets were robbed at customs by the Mujahideen when they overthrew the government. Everybody took it and escaped and like it was, it was robbed and steel and theft. Soon after, the Taliban took control of Kabul and they threw Zablon into jail, beating him up and destroying most of his possessions, including his beloved Torah. Taliban! They broke it! Really? When? The Taliban destroyed all of this stuff? Yeah. Oh my god, that's horrible. They tried to force him to convert to Islam, but he wouldn't give in. Oh, he says, yeah, in, in, in general, uh, he says the Taliban was uh, creating a problem for Jews. They, they just wanted their Islam and they didn't even want Shias. And he's asking me that you don't know this and you ask me. Does the Taliban know about him being here now? Yes, they know. Is he scared? So within a few years, he went from a rich businessman to being broke and under control of the Taliban. Meanwhile, his wife and two daughters left for Israel. Zablon was eventually freed, and he has made his home here in Kabul to be the sole caretaker of this synagogue. Okay, so we're now entering the synagogue. Oh, it's amazing. It's the only synagogue in Afghanistan. Wow. The Jewish star. And it's super cool. Like, one of the most special experiences I've ever had on all my travels is right now. Miraculously, he has kept orthodox, studying Torah, practicing Shabbat, and keeping kosher. In 1992, I went to, uh, to Tashkent on Uzbekistan and I learned how to do the like, slaughtering stuff. And he says, I never buy food from here, from the bazaar. When I asked him if he wants to move to Israel, he said, why? This is my country and I am not going to leave. What an experience it's been to connect with Zablon and hear his stories. His courage, his persistence, and his passion is exceptional. There's a special bond that was shared between us, and it's something that I'll remember forever. Thank you, sir. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Thank you very much. Ah, Laila Tov. Ken, Ken, Ken. Ken, Ken, Laila Tov. Wow, that was an insane experience, meeting that guy and talking about Judaism in Afghanistan, of all places. <sighs> Good night, guys.
Ah, that's your boat, my boy. Oh, chauffeur, chauffeur. Ah, you, 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 you blow it. Shut up. You, you understand? You, 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 you. Oh, you know. I need to put him. He doesn't know how. Chimmy shoot. The bill up. Boss Nero. Do you have any message that you want to say to Jews in America watching this video? Mega ki shuma kudam payam bari Yahuda ya Amerika darin bugi. Payam bari Yahuda Amerika bakhir bari shubi kudam say salamat shalom alaikum at sabia pesa. What I understand is that uh, just uh, it's a great hello to all the Jews and everybody in the, in the U.S. And you should know that Eid is so close by, so like the Eid is, is a holiday Eve something. I'm Drew Binsky, and if you like my travel videos, please click subscribe and join me as I plan to visit every country in the world.